Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Fresenius 5008 hemodialysis machine. After testing the water for chlorine, you need to make sure you have all your equipment, which includes the Fresenius machine, Part A solution, AV set online, AV600S filter, the buy bag, your potassium modifier, and hemodialysis order. Make sure the dialysis machine has completed a disinfection cleaning process within the last 24 hours before using the machine. The following video will now show you how to set up the machine and link it to how a kidney works. Firstly, you need to start the treatment which will automatically start the T1 test. Then, you need to connect the acid canister to the Part A solution. Make sure you close the lid afterwards. You then get the buy bag and remove the strip on the side. and connect it to the bottom left of the machine by pushing it down and closing the lid afterwards. Open the doors. Afterwards, open the AV set on a flat surface. and get the arterial line, also called the access line. Remove all paper strips and clamp off all clamps. There is a spike on the plastic, as shown, which connects to the machine. Once you've pushed it into the machine, the machine will beep. Hang the top of the access line on the side of the machine and start attaching the bottom of the access line. Slide the line into the arterial pressure which reads the access pressure. Next put it in the access clamp. Which will then go into the blood volume monitor. and into the access heater. There is no heparin needed, so just place the heparin line into the left hand side. Place the end of the access line into the filter holder on the right hand side. Next, get the venous line, also called the return line. This return line goes back to the patient. So remove all paper strips and clamp off everything again. Place the venous chamber into the right hand side of the machine. And feed the line into the air detector just by pushing it in. And then into the return clamp.
and then into the return heater. Rest the end of the line into the left corner holder. The access line in the blood pump had to be reinserted as the machine wasn't showing the instructions on the monitor. Now, on the top of the return line, there is a little line that goes into the return pressure. This port, which, this port will now read the venous pressure. Next, get the filter, open the bag, and place it in the holder. Get the return line and put it in the top of the filter. Get the top of the access line and attach it to the bottom of the filter. You then need to wait for the T1 test to finish. Then you can attach the safe line. The sub port and rinse port on the bottom left port will help to prime the safe line. The safe line is also known as the online module. Once the T1 test is complete, you can now apply the online module. The online module also has a spike. And once it clicks into the machine, the machine will beep. You attach the online module to the access line. and tuck it around the blood pump. So that it's nice and neat. like so. Next, get the bottom of the safe line and put it in the sub port.
Now to attach the line to the rinse port, you need to get the connector. Use the rinse port connector and attach it to the rinse port, which is only used for priming. Before closing the doors, make sure you unclamp everything. Leave the side arms and the heparin unclamped. Sorry. Sorry, leave the side arms and heparin clamped. Now you can close the doors and the machine will start to wind the pump segments. It will then do a check. Once the check is complete, you then need to attach the cuff link on the right hand side of the machine. Blue connects with the blue. and the red connects to the red. The arrows on the cufflinks indicate the direction of water flow. Blue is to the filter and red is away from the filter. Once they have been attached, you can see the machine will start to prime. Now, just to link it to the kidney, the filter acts as a kidney. It uses convection and ultrafiltration principles to get rid of solutes and fluids and is achieved by hydrostatic pressure. The bi-bag and potassium helps maintain and regulate electrolyte and acid-base balance. The arterial line or access line is the line that collects blood from the patient and puts it in the filter. Blood goes into the filter and water is outside of the filter which then goes counter current with each other. The venous or return line is the line that returns blood back to the patient. Thank you for watching.